Okay, y'all. So, my voice is gone, so bear with me. I do have headphones in. Um, so, if you cannot hear me, please put your headphones in. Um, this is a 3-3 portal. I'm getting these messages out here. Regardless, the things that you've been waiting for are, is beginning to manifest. You just have to have patience. I get it that a lot of divine feminines are very sensitive right now. And are a little, some could be a little frustrated with the timing, you know, because it's just, um, you know, it's, it's like dealing, healing ego issues and stuff like that with the divine masculine. And it's, you know, it's becoming hard at times, you know. So be patient with yourself. Please be patient with me while I still deliver these messages. Because long as I still have a voice, I will still deliver the messages, regardless of how I sound. Okay, let's go. What's this a spirit baby reading? What messages you have for mommy and daddy? What messages do you have for mommy and daddy, please? <clears throat> spirit baby, daddy wants a son. I just see braids and barrettes. So some of you want girls. Some of you want boys, some of you want twins, some of you just want one at a time. You may get what you want. Your wish is your command. Okay? So be very mindful and concise about what you want so that you can manifest it now. Anything else? Anything else? All right. I'm leaving it there. Oh. Okay. We have mommy. When you see daddy. Give him lots of kisses. You are good. You are a good leader, mommy and daddy. You are a good leader, mommy and daddy. Mommy, when you see daddy, give him lots of kisses. So daddy could be going through some things. Mommy could be going through some things. Mommy wants a son. No, daddy wants a son. <laughs> daddy wants me to be a junior. I like taking pictures so he could possibly be a model. I got to get some more tea, y'all. I comfort you when you are stressed. Oh, Daddy's trying to get your attention. That card keep coming out. Mommy, Daddy misses you a lot. Mommy, be patient with Daddy. <laughs> oh. I am a part of your spirit team, so they right here with you, guiding you, helping to keep to comfort you when you're upset, um, helping you to try to be patient on this journey, because I know sometimes it could be very trying with the time frame. You have to let go of control issue, okay? Dad is down for twins. I'm a boy. So if you are wanting a boy, your boy is shining through. He said, I am here and I am a boy. Big changes ahead. Be prepared. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You don't have to wonder what I am. We have mommy, daddy is coming back. We are twins, two girls. So for some of you, you have two girls. For some of you, it's a boy and a girl. Some of you, and maybe two boys. Whatever it is for you, you know what you want. Daddy will be home soon. Stylish like my mama. Oh, that's definitely a girl. You've known me before as a female in this life. So if you have a girl, for some of you, it could be this boy that's coming back. But for some of you, if you're having a girl, it's a female that you once knew. A mother, a grandmother, an aunt, or sister. Um, for some of you, if you're having a boy, it's a female that's coming back. Um, it will be six of us in total. So count how many kids you got, your masculine got, and see how many of it it's going to be. Or it's just a number. I do see six and seven, but that's a T. But it looks like a seven. So, you know, whatever that means for you. Okay? It's different for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Braids and barrettes. For sure. Matching outfits and matching sneakers. Mm -hmm. Daddy, mommy misses you a lot. Oh, so those are the messages, the spirit baby messages for today. I can't make this reading too long. I need to go heal my, my beautiful voice. 
and get it and nurture it back to health. Nurture it back to health. Thank y'all for participating in the three, three, three readings. Okay, so today is filled up. I have a few, I have the whole rest of this evening filled up. Um, and the six, reach out for the six. Um, I have some slots left for the six and the ninth. So, whichever work for you. You know, I work with you. We're working with each other to help each other. Okay, what we got going on right now? What's happening? What is happening, spirits? Please give me clear, accurate messages of what we need to know right now. What we need to know at this moment. How does Divine Feminine feel about her mask? Hmm. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance with healing family issues. Soul me forgiving and learning. So your feminine forgives you. This is how you feel together. Playfulness. To recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So y'all both want to like ease the pain. Ease the hurt. Ease, ease the tension. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This is how divine masculine feels about you. He feels it's very strong. Um, connection here um, he feels like because a connection is uplifting um, he feels this right now at this time and he wants things to be at ease as well you help ease him um, divine feminine is like trying to stay optimistic trying to look at things from a positive standpoint because you guys come came so far <clears throat> it just still may be some healing that need to get done. Let's keep going. Put a little towel on it and uh, see what we got going on. <clears throat> My voice gonna be back by tomorrow, y'all. I'm about to drink a shitload of tea <laughs> and and not raise my voice too much. Cause I'll be like calling my son and I'm. Oh man. Okay, so we have chemistry. What we got for chemistry? What we got for chemistry? One more, please, sir. What we got for chemistry? I see the Ace of Cups. Whoa, that's a lot of chemistry, huh? I'm not pulling all of those. Oh, we got the Ace of Swords, the Messenger Bird. So somebody is ready to get a message of truth, of clear, truth and clarity. The hawk also rises above um, low energy, okay? Um, spirit is also could be asking you to see things from a different level, see the truth in this situation. Somebody is ready to come bring you the truth. We have seven of cups, okay, which talks about options and stuff like that with the two of vessels. So somebody could be weighing out their options on how to come to you. Or what to say to you. Or um, even what to even do. Somebody's trying to find balance here in their life. After going through some type of storm. Where they put a lot of love in the situation. And it just, it just didn't work out. Okay. So I feel like they're uninterested in where they're at. And they're ready for a change. With the five cups that's still standing. And the two cups that's falling. Okay. Somebody is trying to weigh out their options um they also want to communicate there's a fish right here it's as, as well as the ace of swords <clears throat> oh man um what we got for playfulness what we have for playfulness please spirit that's too many cards two cards at a time spirit or one card at a time i just seen the eight of wands I see the astral travel card, the, the um, arising, somebody could astral travel to you. Your masculine can be with you right now. Um, but instead of astral traveling masculine, won't you pick up that phone and call your feminine? We have playfulness. Oh, we got one more for playfulness. Mm -hmm. 
we have the Maiden of Pentacles. That is somebody that is also the communicator of pentacles. This is somebody who knows how to speak money, speak life, um, make things happen for her in the 3D. Okay, she may not be where she wants to be at, but she's well on her way there. This could talk about a solid offer that is being thought of to give to you. Okay, um, yeah, we have the transformation card, which is. The death card in this deck, and we have the five of cups, talks about regret, regretting a third party. This third party is not just any third party. This third party calls upon, like, dark magic, dark entities to attack you. And some of them attack you while you're sleeping. You ever heard of the witch riding your back and that type of shit? Stay prayed up and don't worry. It's nothing for you to worry about. You don't have to worry about these things, but this is the things that was being done. If you don't believe in spell work or you don't think it exists, I'm here to let you know it does. There's good spells and there's bad spells. And some people call upon dark entities to attack. And what's happening is it's being reversed and this person is very angry about it. Your masculine is in deep regret about choosing a, a lover over you. Okay, and that could talk. Remember, I said the five cups is five cups standing, and then the five cups came. He he put down his twin flame. He sacrificed his twin flame for a love that he thought was more greater, and it turned out to be not what he thought. And now he's trying to find his balance and how to get out of that. Okay, I send prayers to you while you're awake or you're asleep. We banish any evil people, evil spirits, evil entities with evil intentions. We cancel any curses, spells, or hex sent your way. Okay? It's a third party that's involved in a situation that's very upset, that is also trying to astral travel towards you, um, trying to astral travel to your masculine. Instead of them just ending and stopping and trying to focus on themselves and heal the shit that's dark that's in them, they rather try to continue to uh, stay attached to this connection. And it's just not happening. It's about to reverse. So there's a big ending that's happening here with a karmic partner and a masculine is in deep regret, not knowing how to come forward or if you will even take it. But he wants to offer you something. What we got for stay optimistic? Oh, we got for stay optimistic. Okay, I'll take it. We have the Aculet of Pentacles. The Aculet of Pentacles with the Mating of Swords. So this talks about like the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So some with the Page of Cups. So somebody is thinking about this love. This love is a sweet love. Um, this love is very innocent and pure and beautiful. This person is thinking about communicating to you in a loving way, but truthful. He wants to express his truth. He had to go through some shit to find out the truth. This person wants to come to you face to face. It has taken him a very long time, but he is finally ready to admit his feelings and her feelings. Um, this could talk about the divine feminine ready to speak her truth. Because she has been in a loving energy towards the masculine. Hold on, y'all. Because this is about the divine feminine, how y'all both feel together. Because I, I read that wrong. Because this is how you guys both feel. Y'all both going through an ending that's bringing a new beginning. There's a lot of regrets here um, about choices that was made. I feel like I didn't read it wrong. I feel like I read it how it was supposed to be read. I feel like a lot of you could be um, just at a space where you're not taking nobody's shit. Not even your masculine. And I feel like 
your masculine kind of feels that energy. That's the energy he had to be in as well in order to cut off third parties and people, places, and things that no longer serve him. Okay? So, um, this did come out with it, but I feel like with both of these coming out together, I feel like you at a space where you just want the truth, you want to speak your truth, or it's off with their heads, period. Um, but he wants to come in and offer you a message of love. It's just taking a little while, okay? But Spirit is asking for you to be patient. You will come together. This person will travel towards you. Your ships is coming in. Um, this person is very passionate about you as well as you're passionate about them. But I feel like he could be ending the third party, 3-3. Three, three. But 3-3 three, three, with an 8-8 eight, eight of Pentacles. He's ending a toxic situation where he was once heartbroken, okay? And want to, I feel like, and that's taking some time for him to heal that. But he's very passionate about you and want to move forward towards you, okay? And express his love and come face to face. So that he could speak his truth, okay? But he's scared you're going to be like off with his fucking head. So be patient with your masculine. Be kind and gentle to your masculine and your feminine. Okay? Namaste.